hello hello literally seconds after i filmed my september wrap-up i'm here bringing you guys my october tbr so as i mentioned in my september wrap-up i am changing a lot for this month because i feel like i realized where sort of the uh, other factor for my sort of slum came in so as you guys if you guys don't know i have been borrowing books from the library and the bulk of my tbrs are those borrowed books and a lot of the times when i don't get to when i when i'm i'm lagging behind the books that i'm reading i prioritize the books that i have borrowed because those i need to return and the books that i own i can just go back to them whenever so that has been like the process for the past few months and i feel like i have that pressure now to finish a book as fast as i can because i need to return it and so i have these lists of books that i i have on hold that are paused and set to resume around the end of each month so that by the first month the first week of the first month uh, of the next month i will be able to borrow it and then you know i'll have the whole month to read it and it has been set like that for the past few months and for the first few months it worked but i feel like because i got into a slump and things started you know changing and stuff and all things happening and so i it's not working anymore so i decided to not borrow any books for this month i do have books that are, are in transit to my library that are already ready for pickup which i am not going to be picking up and i'm looking at the list and i'm just like i'm not like i'm i don't feel like i need to read this so with that being said <laughs> all of the books that i have for this month are books that i do own i have one book that i did borrow i wanted to you know insert that in here as well but well two two books that i have borrowed but the other two are books that i do own so let's get started okay enough posing <laughs> so the first book that i will be talking about is truly devious this is the one that i'm currently reading right now i'm only 38 pages in i have not read this i've not read a page for like three days two days i'm saying so yeah truly devious this is quite popular here um this is about cd bell who goes into this really well-known and elite i want to say academy which only a few people get into and it's completely free and all of the students here have a specific like interest and you know cv is an aspiring detective i think and i know there's like a novelist a scientist something like that so this is an academy for i think high schoolers up until college maybe i'm not sure but anyway we are following her as she d as she tries to uncover the mystery that's surrounding this academy ellingham academy its owner um his wife and child and kid daughter i believe uh got abducted a few years after the first the school first opened they were kidnapped but they were not uh they were believed to be dead and the kidnapper left a note a, a like mocking letter and signed it as truly devious devious despite uh so hence the title um so she is Oh yeah, she has an inventor, a novelist, an actor, an artist, and a jokester housemate. And so it's her trying to figure out and trying to solve the cold case that happened years ago as an aspiring detective herself. So we're just following her. And the thing about mystery thrillers is that I really enjoy them. But usually by the middle or like by the end when things start like falling into place and we're getting a little bit more clues and we're closer to getting our answers that's when it gets really predictable and it builds up itself and then kind of that just dies out it doesn't live up to the hype that it built itself up up on so a lot of times for me mr thrillers are a uh, miss but when they do hit they hit like you know they just really enjoy them they're so fun and so ooh to read and so i'm hoping that this will be in the hit department or at least more of a hit department that i miss but yeah i know a lot of people really enjoy this book there is a second book vanishing stare that came out this year i think or maybe like late last year i don't know but if i do really enjoy this book i might get into the next book as well but again we are well into fall it is very cold recently and it's been raining a lot which is so i love the rain okay i prefer gloomy weather over sunny weather and i just love it when it rains and you know i hear thunder during the night and the rain is just falling it just it's so atmospheric i love it it's my kind of weather like it's my perfect weather anyway so you know spooky month october is here fall all the leaves are falling it's cold it's getting early 
early it's getting you know we're getting sunsets earlier and stuff and so mr thriller so just very good so i'm really excited to get into this hopefully i will like okay so the next book that i have borrowed from the library is the best of boys by mary weber this is a we are following our character what's her name anyway there is a girl in here and they live in this uh place where every year there are boys invited to this very famous academy as well and there's only a few boys each year that are invited to go to this very esteemed university for a scholarship like everything is free just like oh just like this one huh interesting okay so she wants to go into this um school because she wants to be a scientist and to solve i think her mother dies of a disease and her father wants to find a cure and she wants to find a cure as well i believe and so she wants to get into this school and get the education that she needs but she's a girl and only boys get invited and so with her cousin which is so interesting as well uh she will try to go get into the school and learn and you know try to figure out a cure for this disease and that's where we are starting so again a very i think this is a, you know a very vibey mysterious type of book which i'm obviously into especially this month or you know the season 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 so yeah that i'm very excited i'm very much looking forward to it that's why i decided to um keep this with me instead of returning it with the rest of the books that i have borrowed but yeah that is the best of what okay so the next book that i want to read is star girl by jerry spinelli this is not the first time i will be reading this i have been wanting to read this this is my first month but this arrived i think later than that like an I was just not in a reading mood so I didn't read this for August and September. This is my favorite book. Like if you ask me what my favorite book is, this is it. Um, this is a middle grade book. I read this when I was in high school which I wish I read this when I was like in elementary and I just resonated so much with this story and the character Stargirl and like the whole message of the book. Um, here we're following Stargirl. She moves into this new you know place and she goes to this new school and she is very different. She does not follow the standards of society in general to be honest and she's seen as this really eccentric weird student and she just you know does her own thing and we follow her and um our main character who is a guy who you know gets really close to her and you know starts to like her and you know the school is affected by this one girl because she's different she like in this school everything like has a structure and everyone has a place and you don't go out of your area pretty much and so she is not into one of those areas she doesn't fit and it just it gives them a different perspective and it challenges them and there's there are good and bad like effects of it and so i just i resonated just with the story so much and i wished i read this when i was a lot younger because that would definitely have helped me a lot and so yeah i do want to read this this month we read this this month i've been wanting to read this ever since i read it the first time but yeah Star Girl by Jerry Spinelli. This is my own copy. I bought this off of eBay, but like I didn't expect it to be so damaged as it was. So I'll definitely be buying a new one <laughs> again. But it's my favorite book. Of course, I'm gonna buy it. It's, it's short too, so that will be like a perfect read sometime this month as well. But the main bulk of my reading for this month, that's why I only have a few books lined up, which I know I'm probably not gonna get into. Like there's a big possibility that I won't be able to get into. But this is gonna be my main priority right after Truly Devious. Or maybe I'll get into this if I don't feel like reading Truly Devious. And this is a book that I have been wanting to read for months. I got this one way before we moved i think yeah i think around a time or like just before we moved here in this house and we've been here since february so what's up the priory of the orange tree <laughs> this is so big in booktube and just i think in the general like reading space area thing by samantha shannon this is a standalone high fantasy adult book about dragons and again, I have been wanting to read this for a while. I was planning on reading this in August for my birthday month, I think. And then last month, and then I just, I did not, I did not get into this because I got into slump. But this month, this is going to be my priority. And I'm just, I want to get into this because dragons. And I just, I need to. Like, I feel like this will help me get my life together. And be just like, yes, let's go. You know, you slack for two months. Let's get it. So I don't know. I just, I, this is my main book read for this month. And then maybe Truly Devious and Stargirl. And then maybe I'll get to 
to best of voice if I finish this early. So yeah, that is it. I mean, it's about dragons. That's all that I know. That's all that I know, literally. And even from way before, that is all that I know. And I know it's Samantha Shannon. She, uh, she wrote the Bone Season series. Uh, she's writing it. It's still currently ongoing. I read the first book around, around the time that it came out and I really enjoyed her writing. It, it's one of my first forays into like high fantasy or like adult fantasy. So I really enjoyed it. I have not read any of the other books aside from the first one because I uh, it came out, like the last book came out like pretty like more than two years ago I believe or maybe like a year ago and it just it's taking a long time for the whole series to finish and I want to binge read it and not read it and wait years for the rest of the series to come out so in the meantime I will be reading prior to Orange Tree so yeah so that is for so that is it for my October TBR hopefully this month will be good I'm positive I feel like uh as, of, as I am talking to you right now I just I feel like I'm getting better you know I'm I'm getting my life together so yeah that is it for this video thank you so much for watching you can check out my other videos right here and I will see you on my next video bye